What's going on guys? This video is going to be all about my new vlog setup. I'm missing a, a mic on top. But before we talk about this right here, let's talk about where I came from. I've had, you know, the G7X and all these other smaller cameras. And what I'm shooting this video currently with, I'm shooting with the Canon M5, which the mic is actually attached to right now. That's a, a perfectly good vlogging camera. I wouldn't suggest you know, getting this big, huge rig or anything like that. If I wasn't a photographer, I probably wouldn't have a camera like this. Don't let it discourage you from starting out your videos. With this camera, I'm trying to aim for maximum quality. The things I broke down for a different vlog camera, I put quality as king. So I'm trying to get the best quality for the vlogs also, which you can kind of see that in my last video. Let's jump into it. You know, this is the workhorse right here, the Canon 5D Mark IV with the 16 to 35 f4 IS lens. I know a lot of photographers use the, the 2.8 version, but it doesn't have image stabilization, so it's not really for me personally. I love this lens. It adds like another depth of stabilization to your videos, and it gives you just a little smoother, a little bit of a smoother shot. 5D Mark IV, beast, beast of a camera. You know, it does slow-mo. You know, full frame, you can pretty much shoot in the dark with it. The autofocus on this bad boy is like perfect. It's super, super strong and like it's snappy. It snaps into focus from going like shooting something like this to spinning it around shooting yourself. It snaps right into focus. It doesn't really hunt like all these other brands. The Canon skin tones are perfect. They're amazing. By far the best camera for skin tone, just straight out of the camera, the footage is beautiful. It's almost always in focus. It has a touch screen on the back so you just tap where you want it to focus and you can even do some amazing rack focus just by tapping on it. Like you tap in the, the far distance and then you want to get real close you just tap on where you want it to focus and it'll snap right to it. It does decent slow-mo like you can do 60, 60 frames a second at 1080 but you can also do 120 frames a second at 720 which I personally wish and wish that it did the 120 at full 1080p, but it doesn't. But I still use the 120 frames at 720p just because it's that slow. It slows it down crazily. And I personally think the footage looks amazing. And it's at such a high bit rate that even if you stretch it out to 1080, it still looks good. Yes, this camera does have 4K, but I do not use it. The Kodak is just massive. Unless you, you know, if you shoot like a short film or like travel videos that you're gonna have to buy hard drives on hard drives and hard drives because it's out, it's shooting at like 500 megabytes a second, which is kind of absurd. I mean, if you shoot 10, 15 minutes of video, that's just storage, it's gonna add up, but the quality looks amazing. I just wish they had options for the Kodak and the quality for the 4K. It's also cropped in, so eh, not really a fan of that. I also have this little grip thing on the bottom by Per Gear. It's not bad, I used to, I, I technically bought this for my Moza Air gimbal, but I attached it here and it gives me something to hold on to while I'm trying to film myself, which is a lot easier than like trying to hold the camera with your hand, like it's just weird and awkward. I just think this is a better grip to hold on to. Folds out, it's not bad, just wait on it. The review is coming soon. I've been putting it off for a little bit, trying to fully test everything with the gimbal, but what can I say? Also, I got the, the Rode Video Micro, I wanna say, something along those lines. I'll put it somewhere in the video, the actual name for it, which is dope. It's phantom powered, which means it's ran off the battery, off the camera when it's plugged in. You don't have an external battery to plug into the mic because those mics aren't really great because if you forget to turn it on, then you're not gonna have audio. If you forget to turn it off when you put it down, the battery's gonna die and then turn it back on. You're filming something and the battery dies then you have no audio. So not really for me, it's phantom powered, which I love. It has like a, like a fluff ball on top. They call it a dead cat. It's used to muffle the wind noise. So you don't hear the wind noise in your video, which is not pleasant for anybody. And also the Moza Air gimbal, it's beast. I love it. I'm gonna, you know, insert a few clips in here and 
you know, stay tuned for that review. I'll probably drop that sometime next week. And I personally love it. It's amazing for me. It's super small. It fits on my bag, which is key. And I'm going to be traveling with it a lot, a lot, a lot. And you're going to see a lot more stable, smooth, just like floating camera shots. So that's my vlog setup. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want me to film any other videos like this, please let me know and I will be sure to do them. Until the next one, peace.